Imagine that we had 17 coins in a circle, just like this. We're going to play a game where we take turns removing coins from this circle. In particular, on any given turn, the active player will choose to remove one or two coins. If that person chooses to remove two coins, those coins must be consecutive within the circle. For example, if you started the game going like this, I might respond by taking this coin here. But what you could not do on your turn, as an example, is remove those two coins there. They are not consecutive, there is a gap in between them. Play continues like this until the final coin is removed, and whoever removes that final coin is the winner. Here's the puzzle. You go second. Design a strategy that guarantees you the win. And while you think about that, check out some of these cool books that I've written. I have two hints for you. First, you should think about this in terms of strategy ceiling. And second, the type of strategy ceiling that you should adopt is not going to be very different regardless of the number of coins arranged in the circle. Are you ready for the solution? At first, it may seem daunting to think through all of my initial moves and how you should respond to them. But it turns out that there are only two different types of opening moves I can make. I can remove one coin, or I can remove two coins. And the particular places where I do it within the circle are irrelevant. It'll still create an arc with either 16 or 15 coins remaining. Thus, we only really need to consider two types of moves. First, Imagine that I removed two coins. Do you see what you should do next? Once I've made my opening move, this actually becomes identical to a game that we've previously covered. That one involved removing bowling pins, but the principle is still the same here. Your optimal response to my initial move having removed two coins is to go to the exact opposite side of the circle and remove one coin. Do you see why? Notice that what remains are two identical piles. As such, no matter what I do next, you can match it on the opposite pile. For example, if I were to remove this one coin, on your turn, you can respond by going to the opposite side and choosing to remove the equivalent coin. As this continues, no matter what I do, you can match it. If I were to take those two coins, you can take these two coins. If I were to take that one coin, you can take that one coin. If I were to take those two coins, you can take those two coins. If I were to take that one coin, you can take that one coin, and we're done. No matter what I do, you can always match it. And as a consequence, you are guaranteed to win from there. The idea is similar if I start off by removing just one coin instead. Do you see what to do now? This time, you're still going to the opposite side, but now you're going to remove two. That's because we need to create two even piles, and if we start off with 17, and I remove one to bring it down to 16, you're going to have to remove two to make sure that we have two even piles now with seven each. But from here, it's straightforward. No matter what I do, you can always replicate it on the opposite side. And as a consequence, it may take a while, but eventually we'll get down to a situation where I have to remove the final item from the first pile, which means that you can remove the final item from the second pile. And thus, you win. Did you figure this one out? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, 
and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.